Vertigo. Cousin, wish poppy. What's going on, life of Virgo? Between now and the 31st of December. Hmm. Hmm. How the hell we in and out this year? Y'all going through some stuff. When I was shuffling them cards and trying to get a grasp on y'all energy, shit was all over the damn place. But I did see a balancing act, okay? So I got to say, Virgo, hold your horses, baby. Help is on the way, all right? Hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time viewing my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time viewing my channel, look out. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say, but I am going to cuss, all right? Welcome to the family for all of the new subscribers. You guys, we are a little dysfunctional. We don't, you know, we might cry a little bit, but we don't fuss and fight. We leave that shit on other people's channel, all right? We don't do that shit over here, but we do love, we share, we grow, we evolve, we enlighten positive vibes only, all right? Um, this will not be a personal. It is simply a general. If you need that personal reading, please get it in because in the month of January 2019, this girl is going to be taking a break. Okay, when I say I'm a break, I'm a break like y'all may not get no mid-month break. We're going to do January monthly, okay? So if you do need that reading, only day that I'm not working is on Christmas. Every other day up until the 31st, up until the 1st of January, get your reading in. I'm trying to get everybody uh, finished for the month of January now so we can go ahead and roll into uh, January readings. And I'm trying to have them uploaded no later than the 27th, okay? So I'm going to be a busy bee, but I still will have time to do those readings. I'm going to be um, uploading the reading special, but I'm getting everybody done, all right? So this will be um, for the end of December for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watches for the sign of Virgo. okay? So we're going to rock. I did pull two angel messages for you guys. Um, actually, I was trying to pull one. I had a, a couple of bus out, so I, I figured the spirit needed me to pull these two because one of them kept showing their face. So I'm, I, I let it happen, all right? Um, <clears throat> again, if you need that personal, that information is within the description, and we're going to rock, all right? Thank you all for all of the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments. I truly appreciate it. Thank you for allowing me this entire year to really share my love, my gifts, my wisdom, you know, my enlightenment with you all. Thank you so much for being a part of my family, y'all. We wouldn't have made it this far this fast without you guys. We're going to make a year January 26, 2019. And I'm just really grateful for you. I'm grateful for you because through you was I able to truly see how far I've really, really grown. Not just Virgos in particular, but everybody as a whole. How much that I was able to share my love and my life with everyone to, you know, encourage and bring a lot of people through the storms. It really just mean, mean a lot to me. I want to tell everybody Merry Christmas. All right. Um, happy Kwanzaa. Um, I, I know I, I, a lot of people follow me. So happy holidays. Happy New Year as well. All right. So we rock. What's the message that you have for my lovely Virgos? My cousins. Now, spirit message for Rocket. Now until the end of December. Right. Cross watches. Look at y'all got my angels following this shit. There goes the shit falling apart. Some things falling down. Structures being forced to change. I don't see. All right. Yeah. During this time, a lot of you guys are gonna just be focusing on healing. Some of you all, I'm literally hearing detox. Okay. For some of you all, you're really healing. Okay. And I feel like you're trying to bring this new energy, this new loving energy. Um this new whole energy into the new year. Some of you guys are healing your body, your body, mind, and spirit, okay? I see the Trinity here, and I feel like a lot of you all are also healing the way even which you, in which you communicate with people around you. Some of you all may be finding out that you're actually pregnant, okay? Congratulations, Mocha Love the Kids. It's a lot of baby energy. I feel like it, have to, it had to do with that Venus and Scorpio. You know, Venus is the planet of love or whatnot. So because of that, a lot of folks have new beginnings coming going into the new year. I do see um, some of you all, uh, some of you guys could also be healing, okay? Especially, uh, there, there's a focus, you guys, on your heart chakra as well as your solar plexus. So for those of you who are in this meditative state during this time. A lot of you guys are really needing to um, really get out in nature as well. Some of you all got a massive ass download coming while you're outside near water. It's something about some of you guys deal very, very, very heavily um, with some type of like, 
I don't know who this dragon deity is, but they're showing me who they are. I wish I knew who they were. I'm going to do me some research. But some of you guys, somebody, this is for somebody, maybe one or two people. I'm going to need you guys, if you can, comment. Who is working with dragons? Some of you guys are um, possibly going to be breaking off or thinking about breaking off into some type of entrepreneurial, um, entrepreneur type deal as where some of you guys are healers. Some type of shamanic practice. Yeah. Others of you <clears throat> are really seeing life through new eyes during this time. I feel that you're truly, truly, um, for some of y'all, I'm going to say finally listening to divine guidance, okay? For some of you all, you definitely have a soulmate relationship on the brink that, that's trying to come to the surface. However, <clears throat> excuse me, Virgo, I'm low-key losing my voice. You have a soulmate relationship trying to flourish. However, some of you have this, this need to open up your heart chakra. Some of you all really need to get out more. Your body is pissed off at you. They like, God damn, can I... Can I please run? Can I please walk a little bit? Can I can I please? Okay. Some of you all are internally conflicted. Okay. I feel like during this time, a lot of you guys have been kind of fighting or, or, or during this time, some of you all will be resisting change. And I feel like in the midst of resisting, you got to understand that if you're going to fight, the universe is always going to win. All right. So some of you all are really, really, really trying to work out in, in internal conflicts in order to open up your heart to new love some of you guys are truly internally conflicted about moving forward i feel like some of you guys are fearful are you fear are you scared of your own success virgo are you scared of walking in your highest self because in order to do so some of you guys knowing you got to detox okay i'm strongly hearing detox during this time a lot of y'all are going to release yourself <clears throat> release yourself from any mental constraints any type of binding as far as you putting yourself there, self-fulfilled prophecies, you know, I cannot, I don't have enough. You know, some of you guys are internally conflicted because you're releasing yourself during this time from the structure in which you were taught as far as practical matters, religious matters, traditional views. Some of you guys are really healing within the mind and as well as the heart space. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of you all during this time, you have this all-knowing. You need to know that you are protected and those truths that you are holding on to and not speaking. Some of y'all literally have just been literally head to the grindstone, facing the grindstone. Some of you guys in the millstone. Some of you guys have really been focusing on finding your finding what it is that you can that you consider your truth, Virgo. But I feel like a lot of you guys could have really pulled back during this time. Some of you are some of you guys are finding out, learning more about your past life. I'm hearing Akashic Records. Some of you guys could actually be assessing your Akashic Records during this time to free yourself from what you told yourself was not right in this life, okay? And really finding your power, walking back in your truth, in your abundance, grounding yourself in order to move forward so that you can actually see what's ahead of you. Some During this time, some of y'all yeah, are dealing hell heavily with dragons. Some of you guys could also see... um purple butterflies during this time and I feel that they're signifying some form of abundance as well as frogs for some of you all some of y'all got a massive ass download coming regarding a family matter or this particular detox or which way to go is next when you get out in nature and it's going to be near some pink and yellow flowers some of y'all may also be receiving uh, some type of pink and yellow flowers from a soulmate this soulmate some of y'all got new love coming and it's coming in the form of a water sign Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or another Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo like you. But there's this focus on moving forward, momentum, accepting change, actually evolving, okay? And trusting your own abilities because some of you guys are definitely spiritual teachers. Some of you guys are learning Reiki. Some of you guys are who are artists. And I feel like anything having to do with practical matters as far as artistry, meditation music, um, any type of like, some of you guys do music, but I feel like it's more so of like composing, um, composing like meditation or some type of, I'm hearing chakra clearing videos as well. Ain't nothing to it but to do it, Virgo. It's time to make a move though. It's about momentum. Okay. <clears throat> as well as this damn soulmate relationship, soulmate partnerships and allowing the magic to happen. What you scared for? 
because you're scared for it's time to move forward, my babies. All right, spirit. So let me see. Here we go. What messages do you have <clears throat> for my Virgos, spirit? In love. Between now and the 31st of December, what can my babies send me? For the sign of Virgo, respect and love. Hmm. <clears throat> Some of you guys really want to move forward towards a cancer, okay? For some of you all, it's just about moving forward, period. I feel like some of you guys are really going to be focused on moving forward, chasing your money, or actually starting some type of financial endeavor without telling somebody. Some of you all are going to be receiving a practical, solid offer, okay? Or it could be finding out that you're pregnant, having a baby by a tourist. Congratulations. Some of you guys want to move away from a tourist, and I feel like you're trying to do it in secret. However, this person is now coming with the actual solid offer that you've been waiting on for some time, and it's kind of restoring the passion and moving things towards a, tr a traditional sense. But I feel, Virgo, that you're really not truly, truly, truly expressing your feelings as far as boundaries with this person because i feel like for some of you all this is like a repetitive cycle okay i fuck up i do right i come back you look then we hit then hit reset i fuck up i do right it's like it's like a game or like some type of wheel okay for some of you all you're actually moving forward in a solid commitment okay something actually practical as well as traditional sense moving forward with the fire sign aries leo sagittarius okay for some of you all, some of y'all got a deceptive air sign in your uh, in your midst. This could be the father of your children, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of y'all could find out that this person could be married. Some of y'all could find out you're dealing with a tourist that's married. And I feel like it's going to break your heart. But it's only a catalyst situation to push you forward towards a divine partnership that Spirit has for you. Yes, yeah, some of you guys are releasing yourself from a third-party relationship or finding out about it. This could also be your partner, Virgo, finding out that you put them in a third-party relationship. Somebody's definitely moving forward, okay? This could definitely be from air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Virgo, like, fuck that shit. I'm over it. <clears throat> because for some of you all, you're ready for new love, okay? You're, you're open to receive new love. Some of you guys are actually starting over, hitting the reset button in some type of some type of marriage or commitment, okay? And this could have, somebody could have been in a third party situation with the water sign and the air sign or, um, but I do see someone is moving forward or away from a third party situation. Either we gonna work on it, we gonna get this shit right, somebody gotta get left. Yeah. For some of you all, you could receive fast communication regarding this third party situation, possibly from a malice ass, vindictive ass third party. Because I feel like the third party is just petty. They petty and proud to be petty. Ain't that some bullshit? So they don't know. You don't get no pettier than Virgo because y'all y'all are analytically petty. Think that shit out and be strategic about it, petty. And for some of you all, you could have been dreaming, okay, or having dreams. You're needing to trust your dreams during this time. Some of y'all could also be dreaming um, of someone actually coming forward and having a conversation with you fast moving and very unexpected. Some of y'all also got <laughs> Cancer Pisces Scorpio stalking y'all shit. This could have been somebody who you moved away from, okay? And I feel like you you and your partner seems to come through very intuitive. Virgo, some of you guys, some of you guys are dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, and I feel like some of y'all are trying to move to another Cancer Pisces Scorpio, someone new, okay? Or things are not moving forward. Okay, because someone just won't completely walk away from something. This cannot, your new beginning cannot be done, cannot be done properly with like, you can't be done sneaky, Virgo, or that shit gonna fall right in your lap. Because I see some folks are just really just keeping quiet, like somebody gonna come home, somebody shit missing, just like, where'd you go? Dear John, let me tell you how I was feeling. <laughs> hey. Some of you guys, okay, <clears throat> are definitely offering a cup of love to someone, all right? And I feel like it's after you actually move forward and gain this independence, okay? Some of y'all, you really want to focus on love. However, you have this need to focus on your stability because you could have possibly moved out of a situation or you will be. Yeah. For some of you all, 
Some of you guys want to actually, some of y'all want to move towards the Pisces, Scorpio. But there is some things behind, uh, some, some things underneath the surface that you're going to need to know about first. Okay? For some of you all, you just really want forward movement. Some of you guys, some of you guys could have been minding your own damn business. <clears throat> and then love come in and boom, push your ass off the cliff. Okay? And I feel like in the midst of doing that, a lot of you all could have been on the brink of your independence and just really focusing on your money, okay? And then, bam, here come this damn Scorpio. Or, bam, here come this damn Pisces. Or, bam, here come this damn Taurus, Cancer, Capricorn. Some of y'all Sag. But I feel like there's this need to release your toxic thoughts around love and let that hurt go. Just because one person hurts you, baby, doesn't mean that everybody is full of shit. But some of y'all are really needing to make a judgment call that you've been internally conflicted about as far as releasing somebody and walking away from a karmic relationship. And some of you guys just do not want, I just do not, I just do not want to make the decision over. Okay? I just do not. I do not want to make the decision. Virgo, some of you guys just really want to move towards something more so traditional. I feel like some of you guys are... Wanting to make a move, however, you're tied into someone um, via like assets. Let me clarify this major arcana. Why is the judgment card here? Some of y'all may be actually seeing a lot of um, some of y'all being communicated to via birds, big white ones to be particular hawks, eagles for some of you all. For some of you all, you may be seeing a lot of crows as well as vultures during this time, and they're signifying death, not an actual death. For some of y'all, it is an actual death, but for some of you all, it's the death of who, you, who you've who you known yourself to be. We're going into the period of a major ascension, baby. Why is the judgment here, spirit? What is my Virgos needing to make a judgment on? For some of you, it's the mother or father of your children. Do I move towards a, a more traditional way of living? Yeah, for some of y'all, it's having to do with a past life partnership. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Could also be Earth sign. Yeah. And for some of you all, for some of you all, it's having to do with releasing. For some, I, I would say it would have to do with releasing the turmoil and the toxicity around the relationship. Tell the fucking truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help me, okay? Because telling half the truth and omitting shit is still a form of lying, Virgo. Why is the hierophant here? Balance. Why is the hierophant here? Please clarify. The hierophant. Yeah. For some of you all, <clears throat> you have a new beginning in love, a fresh new beginning. And this is going to be someone who really wants the traditional way that you want. They want marriage. For some of y'all, it's definitely a water sign. Okay? So, again, some of y'all, y'all got to release the water sign to get one. And for some of you all, you can have that ten of pentacles. You can have that stability, that firm foundation with the cancer individual if you move forward and actually discuss things truthfully, okay? You can't have your cake and eat it too. But I feel like there's going to be a need for you to actually, somebody to confess some type of deception, third-party deception, in order to move things forward. And I feel like this person I already know anyway, you or this other person has been getting very vivid dreams or will be during this time, especially around this new moon. New moon happened last night on the 22nd, so especially around this time. <clears throat> Why is the high priestess here? Yeah. For some of you all, <laughs> for some of you all, this you could be dealing with another Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like some of y'all intuitively know that you need to move away from a person. However, I feel that you're not telling this person that you're ready to separate because you just don't want the drama until you're 100% financially secure. Something around finance if you want to feel independent financially before you hit the deck. I feel you, Virgo. I understand. The devil, but let God do God's job, though. Because you can't control every damn thing. Yeah. Some of y'all, some of y'all earth signs is going to be talking real reckless during this time. Y'all, guard your peace. All right? For some of you all, I feel like some of y'all got a, a very toxic Gemini Libra Aquarius. I feel like this person, for some of you all, definitely mirrors you. And y'all know I'm going to call a spade a spade. The things that you don't like about this person, for some of you all, I'm hearing mirror. They're truly a reflection of you. So it's easy for us, I've noticed, 
to point out the fuckery and other people's shit. But it's real hard for us to really uh, talk to that damn man or that woman in the mirror and be like, huh, hello, do you see me now? Because uh, th that energy real familiar. To read it once and for all is to deal with it. And to deal with it is to acknowledge it. To acknowledge it is to understand it and, and, and know that these are things that you can recognizably change. Free will is a motherfucker, okay? For some of you all, you really, really want to move. Some of y'all want to move away from a Capricorn person. Why is the tower here? Why is the tower here? Why is the tower here? Got two. Yeah. For some of you all, the tower is here because I feel like some of you all really want new love. However, the structure of what you once knew to be love is really being tore down during this point some of y'all are being very defensive toward the idea of love because i feel like y'all putting a face on it well if i'm gonna be in love with that person they gotta have this and they gotta have that and they gotta have this during this time <clears throat> some of you guys could actually this could be the mother or father of your child some of you guys if they were being defensive towards you in the past i feel like mother carmen and done her rounds and someone is definitely wanting to come back and express a form of love. This could be a fire sign or water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag. See, why is the Three of Swords here? Why is the Three of Swords here for my Virgos? Why is the Three of Swords here? Why is the Three of Swords here? Why is the Three of Swords here? Yeah. For some of you all, this could definitely have to do with someone... This could definitely have to do with someone really wanting to reconcile a family after a third party situation. But I feel like the hurt has just been completely done. Like the hurt, the, the damage is done. Either we're going to talk about it and let it go. But somebody's going to have a hard time letting go, Virgo. I'm going to be honest with you. And this looks like it's a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. This could also be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I definitely feel like finances could have been an issue as well. Maybe somebody cheated due to finances. And they're not telling the full truth. For some of y'all, I'm literally hearing, um, I'm sorry, y'all, I had a brain for it. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> no, I'm literally hearing security. So maybe somebody was looking for some form of security to even secure their family, okay? But some of you all, mm, 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 mm. Some of y'all, there's victory moving forward. And trust, there, this situation can be turned around. This situation for some of y'all, especially if it involves the Pisces, it could be fixed, y'all. It could be fixed, but you're definitely going to have to communicate very thoroughly because this person is very intuitive. And in the midst of separation, y'all, they didn't been dreaming. So they just only coming back to see if your ass going to tell the truth. This is check to checker. They doing some Virgo shit. Whoever you're dealing with is literally like y'all one in the same. But some of you all definitely have new love, new shmoney, all right? New job opportunities coming. But some of you guys, this hurt had to happen in order for you to get what it was that you were really trying to manifest, okay? So that you can truly heal from this third-party energy. Because for some of y'all, you can just really expect that from this person. You would, I don't know what you're fighting yourself for. For some of y'all, it's definitely involved in the Aries. Some of y'all internally conflict about starting something new with the Aries. Are really just kind of hitting the reset button in a relationship period because I'm literally hearing newness, okay? Virgos, y'all have, yeah, some of y'all indecisive or some of y'all dealing with an indecisive Aries. Indecisive fire sign, air sign. Communication definitely needs to happen. This is definitely a past life partner. Some of y'all are really going through past life karma during this time. And I feel like you can have whatever you like with all of these aces here. All of these fresh new starts, but there's definitely going to need to be some type of some type of renewal happening, a renewal and an elimination of the discord. Folks really need to ask the right questions. If if security and stability really really matters to you, then don't go up in it trying to throw your damn cape on because people do what you allow them to do. Do you understand? During this time. A lot of you, a lot of you all are afraid to move away from somebody fully. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And this has to do definitely with finances. Some of y'all just feel like, you know, you're gonna, you, your plan is to leave this person on the code. And I don't feel like some of y'all are talking about it. But I definitely feel like 
you in the midst of stacking your damn savings account on behalf of this person before you move away. But there will be a moving away. There will be some reconciliations. There's going to be some renewal. There's going to be there's going to be some releasing. But there's definitely going to be love, noosh money, uh, opportunity to open up the floor, set clear, healthy boundaries before we go into the new year, and an opportunity to truly detox, heal, heal that, and speak that great I am back into your world because. For some of you all, healing is a must. Some of y'all got somebody who's very, 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 very intuitive and they pulling the strings like they playing you against you. It's a few of y'all who spirits say I'm talking to with that one. You would know. You knew I just threw that rock, sis. Free yourself. Telling yourself that you cannot is only within your mind. You can do whatever the hell you set out to do. God is not the author of confusion. Do you understand me? So y'all, this is what I have for you guys. Um, as far as um, love consists, or love matters go um, from now to the end of the month. All right, so let's pull your angel messages. I got two for you guys. The first one was life review. This shit dark. You probably can't see it. I'm sorry, y'all. Says Archangel Jeremiah. Take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. Again, I told y'all that balance, okay? Reflect, review. Do not resent. Do not be remorse. Do not do none of that shit. Reflect, review. The next message that you guys have comes from Archangel Azrael. Hello from heaven. Archangel Azrael, your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries. And feel their love and blessings. I felt that as well. Some of you guys, um, you and your children may be dreaming of um, ancestors of yours, you know, family members that could have passed on. Um, and during this holiday season, for some of you all, I know it's going to be a bit rough. But just know that you're never alone. You're always protected and that your loved ones send you blessings from heaven. Okay, baby? I love y'all very much. Again, Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Happy New Year to you all. And it's been quite the year. My babies, y'all going to push through and pull through this. I send y'all much love, much healing. Many, many, many blessings of prosperity, y'all. Much love and light. Namaste, babies. Bye, y'all.